Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Brad's Bourbon Reviews. I'm Brad and today, uh, the last video I just uh, recorded, I don't know if it's in the same order, but the last video I recorded was the Jack Daniels Single Barrel Select from 2015. And so I thought it would be fun to kind of, uh, kind of indirectly compare them and do a review of Single Barrel Select nowadays. Um, this one was bottled on December 28th, 2023. Same proof as that one comes in at 47% alcohol. Uh, should have done the math to see what that is in proof, but I'm really bad at math. Let's go 48, 48, 90. Uh, <laughs> I'm, this isn't a bit, I'm that bad at math. My fiance Holly would tell you that. Um, but let's see, I'm excited to try this. I, if you don't know, if you've never watched the channel before, I'm a big Jack Daniels fan. Um, and I also like doing these reviews, um, that with stuff that like everybody can kind of get. Like, it's always fun to do like the wild turkey 12 year, but you know, I didn't even get that one. Like I had someone send me a sample of it. So those are really hard to get. And those are fun reviews to do, but these are kind of my favorite ones to do. These like kinds of reviews where you can walk in, grab it off the shelf, 40, 50 bucks. This was like 48 bucks. Um, cork pop, that was weak. Um, you know what? The fifth, the 2015 ones got you on cork pop. So you need to do better Jack Daniels, you know, better cork pops. Uh, but I like doing these reviews where you can go in and get them off the shelf. And uh, if you don't know, huge Jack Daniels fan here. I've uh, been, been a fan of Jack Daniels since I was 21. And um, love it. So single barrel, let's go. Uh, and I, in fact, I did a Jack Daniels blind once. And the single barrel barrel proof came in over the 10 and the 12. So big Jack Daniels fan. Um, let's give us a nosing and see how many people about it. Okay, this is interesting. You know what I'm, all right. This is different enough from that that I'm gonna have to do a video comparing the two after this one because this is already, and I just did that one, so it's not like, it's fresh in my brain. They smell different enough that I'm gonna have to do a review on it. Get that more like candied banana on this one. On that one, it was uh, it was different. But this one is more like um, candy banana, like, not banana Laffy Taffy, but like, there's not a lot of banana candy. The closest I can think of is it kind of reminds me of there was, uh, there was a period in time, I'm a big banana flavored anything fan, where they had banana Nesquik, and it kind of reminds me of the powder, the banana powder, a little bit, and then like the banana powder mixed with like brown sugar and uh, like a toffee kind of note, um, but just overall really good, almost like a, a pecan pie too, a little bit. Yeah, like a pecan pie. It smells really, really freaking good. Let's get the drink and see what we feel about it. I love Jack Daniels. I love Jack. Um, I love that people are starting to come around to it because I've always just been a fan. Like back in the day when I was trying to drink fancy, I would get a bottle of Gentleman Jack and that was like my go-to. Fancy model, very fancy. Um, but I just, I love Jack so much. It's so good, man. If you've never tried this, like, this is, I feel the way I feel about this, the way I feel about Maker's Mark 101. This is what old number seven should be, and this should be from here up. Because old number seven is fine if you're mixing it with Coke. Past that, it's not the best whiskey of all time. I do love Jack, but like, come on, that Old Number 7 is just kind of what it is, right? It's a staple, it's a mixer, you buy it because you know it, but this is what that should be. If this is what their base offering was, if you could find a way to produce this for 25 bucks, I would try to do that because this is so good. It's like, it's not as good as the barrel proof. Like, I'm not going to pretend it is, but it is really, really good. It is a major step up from Old Number 7. Um, that is ridiculously good. But I'm a huge Jack Daniels fan. So everything, I, I feel like I need to say this, but I don't feel like I should because it should be obvious. Everything I say is my own opinion. <laughs> like I can't speak for anyone else other than me, but I really like this. And um, this is a bottle that will never be empty in the Hughes household because this will be a staple going forward. I've never owned one until recently. That's freaking delicious. Everyone talks about the barrel proof. Um, but this is this is good in its own right. This is good enough to warrant its own discussion. I think this is a fantastic bottle of bourbon. And yes, it is bourbon. Don't comment. It is bourbon. They export it as bourbon. It meets the qualifications of bourbon. 
enough, okay? Don't take it up with me, I don't care. Take it up with Jack Daniels. That is freaking delicious. Um, thank you guys for watching. I will see you on the next one. Until then, thanks for watching and cheers.